Welcome back to another exciting episode of Shreddy Boys. Woo. Yeah, do, do, hello, do, do, do. hello. It's it's good to see you, my guys and gals and non-binary pals. Welcome to our <laughs> inclusive podcast with your host, Mike, and everyone's favorite Romanian incel, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Romanian insult? Romanian Catholic. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm not Romanian. I'm okay. <laughs> What's going on, buddy? Not much. <laughs> That's probably the most inventive, uh, inventive intro, intro that we've ever, ever had. I mean, hey, uh, no, people sh- just don't understand that this morning I woke up, today and this morning, and the morning I woke up, this morning I woke up, and every day that I wake up this morning, I, I fucking woke up that day. Just remember that. <laughs> fucking morning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I'm done. Uh, yeah, I know. How you been, buddy? How you been? Oh, man. <laughs> you know, I was telling you before we started that I have a lot to catch up I on. I thought you were going to say, I have a life again. <laughs> <laughs> I have a life. So, Jesus Christ. All right, so since... What has happened since the last time we've recorded? Because we recorded super, super early in March. Yeah, no, yeah, we it, it, we recorded the interview and the episode was a week later after that. So yeah, it was yeah, super early. We've been doing this new thing where we've been recording the interview super early and super before we do anything now. So my concept of time is literally thrown out the window. So... We recorded this, and then this is something I wanted to talk about a long ass time ago because it's already passed. Yeah, candle mass. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, you should explain yourself on that one. <laughs> Me? So my my lovely wife bought some tickets to go see Candle Mass a while ago. Like literally, when that show got announced, she immediately bought the tickets without even thinking, "Who am I going to take?" Because I'm going to just let you know, Brian. I I like. You know, stoner rock and, you know, stoner metal. But as soon as it gets to a certain speed... Do metal? Do metal. I get really sleepy. (laughs) Yeah, No, no, not. That's even too fast. (laughs) (laughs) It's like... (laughs) (laughs) No. You know, like, that's why I can't listen to, like, sleep or anything. Because it just... it, It loses me. It's like... Blue light, just. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's just say that the yeah. vocalist of Candlemas got very yeah. furious. Was so like, I go, let me, let me well, go. Well, so, actually, explain to them yeah, where yeah. were you sitting. So she gets the two tickets. She asks me, "Hey, do you want to go?" I'm like, "Yeah, sure. Why not? I'm not a fan at all. I like." the latest album from Candlemas, you know, but I am a novice. So I listened to some Candlemas. I'm like, yeah, sure. I'll go. So we go, this is months and months later. We go finally. And, uh, yeah, I listen to the first band is like good. Second band is the skull. I'm like, I'm starting to get sleepy. <laughs> and then by the third band Candlemas, I am like full, <laughs> like nodding off during the set. <laughs> And if you guys have ever been to Reggie's, there's that area on the right where it's like a concrete, like kind of like I want almost like, like a concrete stairs, massive kinda, stairwell, but you know it's like but little, they're big steps, so you could sit on them. Just envision <laughs> your local park with those like big steps on yeah. the side you can sit down. But yeah, it, that's so we're over there. I never sit at a concert. I'm always standing. So sitting already puts you in a comfortable disposition. So they're going, and I am falling asleep. And Michelle told me <laughs> that the Candle Bass singer just kept looking at me. Not angry, more confused. <laughs> it was just like... <laughs> he just kept looking in my direction, and then finally Michelle I wish was like, "There's a clip of that." All right, let's let's go. We gotta go <laughs> because it happened apparently like three times or oh. something, where the dude just kept looking at me. And I was like, <laughs> and I would wake up. I'm like, "Yeah, yeah. <laughs> good song." <laughs> That's funny, dude. It's, oh my god! It's been a while since I've fallen asleep at a show, but it happens a lot more in my older age now. Oh, Grandpa Twinkle Toes fell asleep at a concert. (laughs) (laughs) But, dude, so, okay. Ever since March, Jesus Christ, I literally have a list of everything that happened. That happened. You know, I went, now, now the spring has happened. Like now, this is, we are currently in the spring baseballs back. I've been going to Sox games. My birthday passed, which you were there. 
in my at, yep. in my birthday party. I, I I met the Mascus family. Yeah, you met a lot of my cousins. <laughs> yeah, I did. I was like, holy shit! You're like, there's so many of you. There's too many people in this house. <laughs> that was you, actually. Yeah, yeah, I was freaking out. I was like, you had sensory <laughs> overload that night. I was like, you good? I lit- so usually I would try to throw something small in here in my apartment, and it's not the biggest, but. Uh, I wanted to just invite everybody who wanted to come, and uh, I had to upgrade basically to my parents' house. I did not think everyone was going to go. So I had like over what would you say, like 50 people or something like that? Yeah, around there. When I got <laughs> there, I was like, wow, ridiculous. there's a lot of people. Yeah. I was it, like, holy shit. It was hard to walk around, but it still wasn't warm enough to go outside. It was still cold. Yeah. So we were all cramped inside of the house, and it started. You know, getting me a little, I'm like, <laughs> I'm a rat in a cage, man. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. Uh, all right, so yeah, yeah there was a birthday. Birthday. The... Oh, um, Easter came and went. I don't know how you feel about Easter, Brian. I don't well, know if yeah, ever... no, I was about to get to that. Well, before that, yeah, so yeah, you interject when you need inter- to. I'm gonna interject. You had a show so during you... that time too. Yeah, but I, well, I'm, aside from talking about the shows that I played, I'm a, uh, I'm gonna just um get to uh so. Um, you've heard, you remember the band Demo Borgia, right? Of course. Yeah. So yeah, they got, they they got you, one album that I really, really love. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. Um, you remember their bassist uh, who used to sing in the band? Yeah. I see his vortex. He played a fucking show with them recently. Oh, thank God. I was like, oh my God. I thought, I thought you were going to tell me something upsetting. Like no. He got canceled or something. <laughs> no, 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 no. But I'm like, oh, no, no. <laughs> they, they played it. I can't remember the name of the festival. I'm going to slap the name here. But I remember thinking it was an April Fool's joke, but I saw videos on YouTube. It was like towards the end of March. And I'm like, oh, yeah. I got to see them with this guy now. <laughs> yeah, no. But, okay, look, for, for those who may not know, I am a massive uh, black metal fan, especially like, you know, Bands such as you know Demo Borgir um, or Gorgoroth, Behemoth, Behemoth of yeah. course, but Demo is Cradle of Filth. Cradle of Filth, uh, you know, for for them, uh, dark skids. <laughs> okay, anyways, <laughs> for, the, for the English men. No, the uh, English th- there's that, black there was metal. there was that one meme of th- that one Spanish goth meme, like Yo soy darks. I'm like, or, but anyways, <laughs> um, so yeah, you know they they had a phenomenal bass player who had such a uh, powerful and very strong, you know voice when it comes to his like parts and he would sing some of the most epic cleans you know uh, mm-hmm. um but then he got kicked out and i was like oh and now they needed a a whole choir to you know um pretty much like respect his um powerful vocals because that's how <laughs> epic they were i'm not joking yeah. but yeah have, I was, you, have you seen them live no and no. i want to but i've never seen them either me neither that, that's I've a dream behemoth. as well i've never seen Demo. i've seen behemoth four times actually. yeah i know you super fan over here yeah i mean a super fan is <laughs> like cool oh, it's probably faded as hell but i need to get it touched up someday <laughs> yeah i mean that's just tattoos buddy. yeah but uh no aside from that yeah i did so uh so see him live uh no i didn't get to see them live i just saw a video of uh ice oh, vortex oh, live i said okay. i didn't see them live damn it <laughs> All right, okay, all right. Now I'm joking. Yeah, no, there were some shows uh, in the middle of that. I think uh, after the episode was done, I played like four of them. Um, there was Foreign Local, there was South Bend, uh, and I got Pink Eye, actually, yeah, that same did. night. I, I was fucking Jesus. terrible. You, you were like, I don't think I can come over. I got Pink Eye. I'm like, good, stay the fuck away Yeah, I was me. in a, I think, what were we going to do? I think it was a rip challenge, and so it was like, it. no, 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 no. I said, let me let me get back to you if I'm able to do the rip challenge, because I recently got Pink Eye, and yeah, then it recovered. Like, uh, but yeah, South Bend is when I got Pink Eye. And then there get, was... Uh, get the hell away from me. Get the hell away from me. Yeah, those 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 clips are not are, might be included on this one because I know they weren't on the last one. But the pink eye? <laughs> no, 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 not the pink eye. The the, the shows. Not, yeah. No, no, don't talk about my crusty eye infection. <laughs> uh, there was also the. Um, like, do I you, didn't even see those videos. <laughs> oh, the God. pink eye videos. The pink I'm eye making. Videos. I'm making a joke. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm trying to remember the other show that I played. Oh my! You played God. the Cobra Lounge. Yeah. Oh yeah, there you go, Cobra that. Lounge. There you go. I was at that one. Yeah, Cobra Lounge. If Yay, you guys, I'm doing I'm things. pretty sure you guys saw the live stream that he recorded. <laughs> on yeah at Cobra Lounge. <laughs> i mean no instagram's video quality is garbage i'm, yeah. I'm gonna say that but that's why i went to facebook live because it has better yeah. quality but Plus instagram you can rip it too yeah you can rip it too but yeah uh, instagram i don't know what's going on you got to step it up you know but i think instagram just literally caters to iphone these days <laughs> 
Um, no, even on iPhone, the video quality is good. garbage. Yeah. It, if your internet is very, very fucking bad, that's yeah. when it happens the most. But when it's like solid, it, I've because I've did some live streams of like Vicious Attack, and I forgot what other bands it, I think and Central. Turned out good. Yeah, they turn out good, but for some yeah. reason, it's been garbage lately. But there was Have so you hooked up to like the internet of the venue, or is no. that just no? You've never done that. I've never done. That. I probably should someday, but then it, but so. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't thinking of that. No, it's all good. Cool. I went to Facebook Live regardless. But um, yeah, yeah, yeah. there's and then there I played at uh actually Easter Day was uh the 31st of March, which is yeah, pretty yeah, fucking. Yeah, yeah. I was like, wow, okay. I knew that, I, but um that was yeah. So Easter Day we played at Bizarro and Sun, pretty cool venue in um Blue Island, and they also had a dude making pizzas over there as well. Oh, the like vegan those, pizzas. No, no, no. That's that's that the fallen log. Show. That was God damn the, it. That's the fallen log. That's you, the fallen you've log. You've played so many shows, Brandon. <laughs> They're starting to blow. No, for they me. had someone uh, from a restaurant that was down the street. This is in Blue Island. The oh, fallen okay. log is on the north side, where all the lame kids are. But okay, <laughs> I hate north siders. You might have to go back there. Just don't talk ill of them. <laughs> I know. I'm joking. Um, so you know, yeah, they there was this one dude just making like uh these like well they were not personal pizzas but they were kind of like yeah, medium like, size. But they were, it was fresh. Yeah, hand tossed to everything. Yeah. He had his own brick oven in there and um, not a brick oven. It was, but he had his, you know, like the oven and yeah, he was just making them on the spot. And that shit was busting. I finished the whole thing. I was like, <laughs> holy shit. Nice. Dude. Like, we Nothing all, is better I mean, once we saw it, we're just pizza. like, oh, it should be decent. And then once we took a bite, I was like, oh shit, this is yeah, really yeah. good. Oh my God. Fresh mozzarella. Yeah, no, like it, it was really good. It, yeah. it was, it was just, awesome. uh, you know, perfect. And then after that, um, yeah, as of a uh, recording, well, this past weekend, because this is April sixteenth, but on the twelfth, uh, I played at Recognition Fest, hosted by uh, Mo Cyrus from the band I Bet. Yeah, yeah. Um, but we played day one. It was a two day event at a very hidden um place uh, up in, I think it's like Pilsen or the outskirts of Pilsen or maybe North London. I can't remember. It's it, it, it's somewhere headed towards north like it's past like lake street but mm -hmm. it was a pretty cool spot the one downside i will say is uh having to carry your gear up the stairs because that was where the <laughs> so you know you had the vendors yeah. downstairs they also had so they had vendors downstairs and then the second floor is where the you know the, all the action was all the action right. was going and then the third floor is the green room which was pretty cool um it was half like rappers it, yeah it, <laughs> it was a mixed genre fest so you had rappers yeah. and then the hardcore metal bands going afterwards but yeah i mean it was, was pretty cool for that one it was, it was decent, decent you know yeah, yeah sizable crowd i mean you, you, there was also a guy stabbing a mannequin head and i'm, I'm not joking yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he called it the bitch i was laughing okay <laughs> yeah that was it was pretty uh theatrical yeah. but in a kind of a goofy way i was I, I was entertained i was laughing but i was like okay i'd be uh, like i'm gonna go hang out in my car for a little bit <laughs> i mean i just stood there i went down just to see what's uh, what the fuss yeah. was about because you know there were times i was chilling in the green room and then i went downstairs for a bit and I'm like, just to check out some of the rappers. Um, yeah, I think the best out of all of them, and I've uh, this is the second time I actually played a show with him. His name is Young Tag, so the, he was probably like the, the best out of like all of them, in my opinion. I'm, I'm not, not saying that the other guys sucked, you know, they yeah, were no, of course. pretty good, but you know, yeah, like seeing this dude, I was like, man, this guy just throws bars, and I'm not like the biggest fan of rap, but I'm like, you know what, that's pretty cool. I like, nice. I, I like it. You know, supporting uh, uh, all of the community. Yeah, you know, it's a it's a nice variety. You get two different crowds, and obviously, I mean, most mostly hardcore and rap do blend together now. I mean, you start seeing bands like, yeah. like I said, I bet. There's also Slay Squad. There's a bunch more. The There's list goes on, but like genre melding. Yeah, like Emir and stuff. Yeah, like Emir. Like, there, there's just a lot of. I'm not a fan of Emir, but you know, <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> just trying to be nice. Just trying to, just trying to be nice. Let's see. But no, it was pretty cool. Uh, manifestations were also on that bill with us as yeah. well. Uh, if, for, you know, we also played a Cobra Lounge with them as well. Those guys are always bringing oh, the yeah, brute, yeah. Brut the sheer brutality. Yeah, de no, definitely. Um, that was a good show at the yeah. Cobra Lounge. That's I caught you at that one. And uh, was, yeah, the Cobra Lounge was pretty cool. That was also my first time playing there. And then after that, so after recognition, mm -hmm. uh, that was April thirteenth at this place called the Storefront. Okay. Um, so uh, actually, around the first week of like or around the last week of March, I believe. 
in between the last i think the fir- the 31st going to april 1st i can't remember exactly but mm-hmm. the owner of that venue passed away tragically so we were all yeah, just confused and wondering that. what was going on and we're like well if it's not gonna go down it's fine you know it is what it is but they decided to keep it going and all the proceeds you know for that show went to the family to help with the funeral cost and everything so Mm -hmm. yeah i mean that was pretty cool you know as long as it went for a good cost uh, no that's that's awesome that they were able to flip that they're like hey we're not only is the show going on but you know let's let's make this a positive yeah definitely and i mean the no yeah exactly i mean uh the the tacos are great as well they had a guy you know making tacos there so yeah pretty fucking dope as well um a little truck or a taquiza yeah, they they had whatever you <laughs> just flat said. Top. Yeah, little flat top. <laughs> well, they had more than that, Mike. But you're interrupting my story. Right, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm on your I'm flow. Around. <laughs> um, there's all, there was also a, a sick picture that I'm going to include from Mike Lowy. I mean, I already have it on my personal Instagram, but it was like a massive group photo when the band 17 wanted to like be like, hey, everyone, let's take a group photo together. But yeah, no, it was pretty good. Um, it was the band 17, Water Guns in August, mm-hmm. Rose of the Mize, uh... Love those guys. Yeah, Rose, I was like, yeah, Rose of the Mize. And guys. I'm trying to remember what else. Uh, I'm like forgetting. I'm sure you'll give me the poster. Yeah, more than likely. First, I mean, it was first of course, Rites of Torment. How can I forget about them? Mike is always messing up my flow, damn it. Sorry. <laughs> There's a lot of passive aggressiveness now. No, I'm joking. There's no aggressiveness. I'm, go- <laughs> I'm just trying to chime in. He's trying to chime in, and I'm like, I'm trying to think. <laughs> no, but that's pretty much it. You know, um, yeah. I mean, it was overall. Uh, it's been it's been pretty Busy. fun. <laughs> Busy. Eleven shows in total. My Those God. were eleven shows uh, between that I- your two bands. Just boom, boom, boom. Yeah, boom, from boom. like January until yeah. like <laughs> April thirteenth. Yeah, and then or there's the, the tour coming up. My oh, God. yeah, that's which also got announced, too. Uh, we're going yeah. on tour with Rights of Torment. Woo! Four days out on the road with the homies. And uh, I also got on the mic, as yeah. usual, for my daily ritual during their song, A Disease Portrait, as well. Rolling yeah. clip right now. <laughs> but, yeah, Don't try to kill each other, man. No. Try to be patient. Do what you got to do. Bring your switch if you need to. I'll, I'll try not to <laughs> suplex everyone in there, okay? Um, anyways, so there's the tour going on in July, but also June 8th, I'm playing the Chicago the Chicago um, Metal Pride Fest. I was going to say Might. Okay. I don't know. Um, June I, 8th. I think you're on day two. Yeah, day two. There's yeah. It's a two-day event. Uh, tickets are on sale now, by the way, so yeah. get on that shit. Well, see, I, I already talked to the person running it. Um, it's funny the stickers that are going around of him now <laughs> that you guys are. Oh, making. you spoke to Chastain? No, yeah, yeah. Um, why so, did I call him by his last name? That's funny. <laughs> yeah, it is weird that you went there first. I don't but know why. <laughs> my my point. Um, I talked to him. We'll see. I'm not sure yet because uh, that that month is my dad's retirement party. I don't know where it's gonna fall, but I want to go out there support you guys. But also, I'm I want to get like a little table. And have Shreddy Boy stickers and business cards and, you know, just uh, meet people. So Meet people. We'll see. Yeah, shake <laughs> shake people's hands, touch their hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here you go. Here's yeah, well, the, I, I guess the reason why I said their last names because they both obviously have, well, both him and his husband. Yeah, you know? yeah, they're married. They're married, but anyway, yeah, I was like, I, but the fact that I literally said that. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, there's there's a cult going around about yeah, <laughs> I, I swear love it. to God, <laughs> the stickers that are just fo- floating around. It's it's getting out of hand. It's so fu- I don't know who the bandit is. Yeah, yeah. That's just the thing because we're all trying to figure out who the hell is it. But I was given one. I was like, because I also like, you know what? I want one of I them. Kind of like it, man. I I'm like, like man, it. I wish funny. someone would make a random sticker of me. You know, and just stick it around. Like, what is going on? You know what? <laughs> For for whoever's Yu-Gi-Oh, the bandit, Pokemon card or whatever. For who, you know, to the bandit that's making the Brandon Chastain stickers, I if you're watching. This is a call to action. Make one. <laughs> make some of his. Go through his photos. Get the most embarrassing ones, if anything. Yeah, oh my god. And, and, and just just make make keychains out of it. All of that. <laughs> keychains. <laughs> yeah, jacuzzi. No. <laughs> jacuzzi. No, no, beer no, cruzy. Yeah, cruzy. Like, the first emergence of them, we started seeing them at Cobra Lounge, and I'm like, "That's what hilarious. the fuck yeah. is going on? <laughs> your bass player had a... Uh, no, it was your guitar player had his sticker on his guitar. That was pretty funny. Both of my guitar players from First uh, so yeah. first Step and Beheading yeah. have one on their guitar. 
<laughs> it's like wait so a good. minute it's oh, well, it's that. so gold like it, it's funny it, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, you you know something that picture of um the group photo that we took on the 13th you literally see my drummer from first step and beheading osville holding one as well yeah. <laughs> like if you close up you can see it I'm, dude that is so funny it, it's hilarious <laughs> i love the lore it's all about that lore, baby. It's a, it's a cult at this point. <laughs> the 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 Chastain cult yeah, yeah. is what I call it. There, there you go. Maybe that's why. I, I would love to like see that. what type of fuckery is going to happen at that Pride Fest. Like all the stickers are going to be floating around. I know what's going to happen at that Pride Fest. I can't say in, in, te- in, in specific, but I do have plans on some on doing some some memory with that. Some memory. You nice. you guys will see soon. It's <laughs> fantastic. That's what I like to. Oh hear. my god. But yeah, no, I mean, that's <laughs> that's just about it. So for the time being, it's going to be a month and a half break or almost a two month break from shows. Uh, so the next show will be June you can 8th. work on that goddamn EP that you that you were supposed to have an EP show for. <laughs> oh, yeah. First step. Uh, yeah. That, well, technically, in my defense, there is no 420 show happening. We uh, were going to have one at the Nightlight Cafe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I can say this now, but it got canceled. And normal. And here's the thing. I have, that's actually the the first play the, the the first venue I've ever gone to for when it comes to you know going to see local bands like that was what started it all for me. Okay. Um, but you know, and they've been trying to come back for years. Like this isn't the first time that they've been saying they want to do shows, but I'm guessing they have complications and as to maybe you know, uh, well I don't know what's going on. I think they were supposed to get a sound guy, but then they couldn't make it the last time. Hmm. Around 2021, they were going to do another show there again with, or 2022, somewhere around there, but they had to cancel it because somebody caught the, the, the C virus. The vid. The vid. Somebody caught the vid mm-hmm. and then they had to cancel it. And then this one was announced or well, was it wasn't announced my bad, but they said, oh yeah, we're definitely going to do it. And then it gets canceled. That mm-hmm. would have been a massive one if had it gone down, but yeah, it is what it is. So it is what it is. Aye, aye, all right aye. so well, yeah i, I mean for have well i was gonna say for the time being you know we're gonna write some new stuff record a couple of do- yeah. doodlies here there some some noodly doos some noodly doos <laughs> and uh also uh i forgot to mention behead in the icon has an ep on the way um Ooh, yeah we're dates? so uh no date yet no but it's on the yeah. way um we also have a single coming out sometime maybe this month or early may called tv dinner yeah. um yeah no it's where well, there's been a whole lot of stuff going on behind the scenes aside from shows so yeah, this yeah. year could be the year where i release two eps and st- for the price of one could there be more <laughs> maybe i don't know you'll secret have to find EP. out <laughs> secret ep i mean yeah like i said it's been hard at work this year you know it's yeah man you guys have been killing it well i mean you just the busiest band and you you and beheading and then obviously you and first up just killing it i i mean jesus even at my height when i was in two bands at the same time i never played that many shows ha huh, like i've overpowered mike now <laughs> <laughs> do like a jojo fear me <laughs> fear my might and glory and now just imagine how busy am i going to be with all three bands active you know, the, Mike gave me a challenge last year, and he said, "Why don't you try doing double duty at a show?" And I'm like, "Oh yeah, yeah. well I'll do three. How about that?" <laughs> what was triple duty for you again? Well, I mean, it, it would have to be central. beheading, central, yeah. and first step at the same okay. bill. Yeah, I mean, it's very possible. I'm gonna top that. It works too. All speaking, three of you those know, go together. Yeah, and then speaking of double or double duty, so for the. Duty. Duty. So uh, aside from Pride Fest, there was another confirmed show with Errors of Humanity, Fathom, Hostages, and uh, I think it's either Seventeen or Suncrusher. I can't remember exactly, but there's that's going to okay. be live wearing lounge uh, late June, and on the last day of the tour, I am going to be doing double duty. Um, so you know, for, uh, first step and rights are doing a four day run in Chicago with live wire. I'm adding the oh, play right yeah, here. That's right. That's going to be live wire lounge, but not only is first step going to be there, beheadings there. That. So two, I'm going to be doing double I'm duty have that to day. Make that day because it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun watching. I'm going to have to preserve my energy. The next, the, <laughs> the first three days 
Because the thing about beheading and uh, both first step, I like going all out, but I'm like, you know, yeah. since I'm doing double duty <coughs> on that day, I want to preserve my energy and just go <laughs> all out, go hog yeah. wild on stage, especially for beheading and, you know, like. God, I remember first, when yeah, I, just, I did double duty with Central Disorder and Vicious Attack. The, the first time I ever did that was at the Central Disorder uh the album, album release, release. Show. yeah and i had just come out of the hospital and i think it was rob rob was asking me are you sure you're gonna be able to do it i'm like yeah i'll do it I, i'm i'm walking again i'm doing just fine and then it was not till that day where i we played with vicious attack it took all of my energy and then by that second, I was so physically exhausted because I wasn't 100% back yet. I thought I was. I was not. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, for me, it's... I mean, I'll still do some movements on the other dates. No, you'll but be fine. I'll be fine. I just know the thing is, when I'm playing beheading, like, the music has a certain groove that I start... Yeah. I'm going to calm down on the windmilling because I couldn't <laughs> windmill at the... That, I want to preserve sore, my buddy. neck for, those, for, for the last day just yeah. to go everywhere i'm i'm like i'm i'm trying to do the crab core thing while i'm playing too as well just yeah, yeah, yeah. i i do a lot on stage it's funny i i could I, I just like to well, just make it go goofy go and half, memorable have these on both and it'll equate because your bandmates are pretty animated too so yeah you know just yeah, yeah and then like as soon as i go to the last day i'll be like oh you guys think i'm done you fool are this you isn't go... even my final form <laughs> are you gonna go back to back at that live wire show or is there going to be a band to give I you a I don't know. I think it's going to be... I think <laughs> So, I'm pretty sure there is. It's rights. Yeah. That's going to be going on after. Okay, good. Unless they, unless they go in <laughs> and then they first rearrange. Then, yeah. Well, it is five bands, actually. Oh, it's, it's five? It's five. Oh, okay. So, I just named... I, yeah, like I said, I'm trying to... I can't remember the name. Oh, Manifestations good. is on there, too. Oh, my God. Like, after your first... I'm way off today. After your <laughs> first band... You can go outside and wring your shirt of all the sweat, and <laughs> because it's and gonna be hot. It's gonna be hot. Yeah, no, that's also the thing, man. I'm like, imagine all the hot the breeze weather. Is the breeze, us. it's yeah, it's gonna be in July, oh, like yeah. close to mid July after it's July Fourth week. Hundred degrees in that room. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's pretty much all I have announced so far. But yeah, yeah no, I'm excited. You know, uh, I, yeah, I get a nice, a uh, well, well, well deserved, you know, month and a half break to. Do some more writing, some recording, and uh, a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. I mean, well, I'm still going to the gym regardless of playing shows. Like I'm balancing everything. Because some people are asking me, "How the hell do you balance all that?" I just, I just fucking do it. That's it. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's pretty. That, that's how I do. But you know, this time I'm just having time to breathe and just, yeah. you know, fuck it, we ball. You, you get, you get what I'm saying? But hey, man, uh, YOLO. <laughs> I haven't heard that since high school. Yeah, yeah, what are you? What, what are you a twenty? Old man. What are you a twenty uh, twelve uh, kid who's into all, all about the swag? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm fresh. Fresh. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Yeah. Well, uh, we we can yeah. we can go back to your story. Uh, <laughs> I was what, gonna <laughs> say this is gonna be a long catch up, guys, because it's like a long said, catch up. It's been it's been a while. You know, no, yeah, it really. It, it's been like a month and a half since we recorded an episode. Yeah. I mean, I was talking about how I went to the Cobra Lounge show. I've gone to a couple shows here and there, but the one that you can might see from this is the young Fabian had his fabulous fucking Fabian Fest. And this but, is the what first... Was the, yeah, I was going to say, what's the difference this time? This, well, this year I was not a part of it. <laughs> I was watching it. This is for the first... Yeah, I know. Part of me, you know, I'm, I'm telling you, you, you know, you, you, you're you just blue balling me with all these shows, man. <laughs> you go, you're playing all these shows, and I'm like, God, I miss playing on stage. Every time I see you guys, I'm like, I wish I could play on stage. <laughs> so, I went to this thing. And literally everyone was like, you know, oh, are you playing tonight? I'm like, oh, my God, no. that's the worst. I'm a civilian today. That's the absolute. 
<laughs> wow. Mike literally, is like, I was, yeah. uh, I was divine. <laughs> literally, four like four different people came up to me and was like, "Hey, is Vicious Attack playing?" This? I'm like, "You really <laughs> no. don't follow anything, do you?" <laughs> like, I just wanted to be like, "No, nobody really pays attention with what's going on." Wait, well, well, but, well, hold on, hold on a second. Their defense is Vicious Attack posting anything on social media. <laughs> we have not for like a exactly. Year, no? So what are they supposed to follow? <laughs> but, hold hey, on a sec. What are they supposed to follow? Inactivity? <laughs> hey, man, if you got nothing to post, you don't post, right? But here, okay, so let me get, that was just the setup, Brian, if you will. <laughs> I know. I just threw the oil into the skillet for which to cook my food. So <laughs> I'm there as a civilian, basically. <laughs> and <laughs> a civilian. It sounds yeah. so It's like <laughs> I'm no, no, a civilian, no. even though I'm, I'm playing in two bands. <laughs> like, I'm not bitter. Trust me. I'm not being bitter. This is not how the story goes. I used to be royalty, everyone. <laughs> I used to play I used at to Reggie's. Be Someone. And get my meals half off or whatever. Or free no, it's is. meal ticket. Meal ticket, yeah. I know. I paid for a chicken parmesan. <laughs> <laughs> no, I seriously. I, I'm trying. I'm not trying to do that. <laughs> but I uh, got the normal pick, uh, chicken parmesan that we get. Best thing at Reggie's that you can get, by the way. Go to ch- sandwich. <laughs> it's pretty goaded. <laughs> and yeah, no. Um, for the first time, it was like really weird, you know. You know, it was, um, there was a lot of bands, man. Seven. (laughs) He played in seven bands that night. So it was like Influence, Hyper Volume, Spare Change. This is going to be really embarrassing that I can't remember all of this. (laughs) Brain Bleed, uh, Fantasma Negra. There was Squared Off. Yeah, I know. (laughs) Squared Off. And another band that is, uh, it's on my, it's on my back. Okay, hold on. Um, oh my god, uh, squared off, brain bleed, influence, <laughs> hyper volume. No, you said influence. Did I say? Yeah, okay. hyper volume. Hyper volume. I remember it now. So, <laughs> bear with me, weird. guys. It's it was in a circle that I could. It was yeah, not yeah, like yeah. straight. It's, it's literally <laughs> it's a circle. So this was for the first time. Like this, this. This festival has been different in a long time. All these bands are like, you know, some of them are like, uh, like Macedonia. One of them is just straight up like gothic synth, you know. Right. Influence is like, I don't kind of poppy, you know. And One band that I really enjoyed last year well, had to be Johnny Vomit as well. So that was the thing. No Johnny Vomit. No Johnny this Vomit. Year, no Vicious Attack. No Vicious Attack, but also no, uh, uh, what is the the guy Jason the Jason guy, <laughs> the mustache? Uh, God, I forgot the name of the band. <laughs> Whatever. The it's Jason, it's yeah. first Jason, first Jason. That's what it is. There was no first Jason, so it almost felt like it lacked kind of like a a headliner in a way. However. Everybody just was awesome. Everybody played fantastic. <laughs> what was that? I hit it was like, like a- an accident. <laughs> like, that's what, was like, <laughs> there was like a large clicking noise. But yeah, everyone was awesome. And then, of course, Ammo was there, like she is every year, performing between all of the sets. Ammunition? Yeah, yeah. Ammo, Ammunition. I always looked at... I thought that was a band. <laughs> no, no. And then I was like, who's Ammunition? Oh... I remember you. You want to know? Lady. Yeah, no. You want to know what's so funny? I remember when uh, Vicious Attack was um, gonna go on, and I didn't know they were having her in between sets. So I'm over yeah. here like, "Oh, I'm getting in the way. I need to get." <laughs> yeah, yeah, I remember yeah. that. Yeah, I was dude, like, that still doesn't beat the year that <laughs> I was just like, "Oh my god, I can't believe!" I'm like, "Oh, okay. I'm setting up. I need to get this out is, of here." This one's funny. <laughs> so one year, so she's performing. And Kevin is on stage all the way to the left, tuning his guitar because he decided to bring his Floyd Rose guitar without even looking at the guitar before getting on stage. So the thing is not tuned. He's tuning it on stage while she's performing. (laughs) And she was pissed off. I remember talking to Fabian about it. (laughs) She was super pissed. No, um. (laughs) <laughs> I, I wasn't in there when she was gonna perf- when she was performing, yeah. but I was just like about to set up, and then someone was telling me, "Hey, get off the stage! You're about to go on." I'm like, "Oh, oh, my bad, just get <laughs> off." But I, 
<laughs> that's even funnier though. Like imagine. Oh, man. He's just like. <laughs> Wait, he had it. A... No, he wasn't actually playing. He had a clip on tuner. Okay. I just think it would be funny. I was about to say like <laughs> that is the worst ever. Oh man, that's <laughs> funny. Just being so completely oblivious and tone deaf, <laughs> tone deaf, that he's literally on stage not paying attention to what's going on in front of him. That was pretty funny. That almost happened to me. That's not funny. not for her. She was angry, <laughs> but I just uh, I bet yeah she was. So we you know it was an awesome night, Fabian. I'm like I uh, I couldn't stay the entire night. Unfortunately, I had uh, work the next morning, but I went up to Fabian. I'm like, try not to die, <laughs> try not to die. And then you got out, and then you heard yeah. Oceano at the next, the, well, the yeah. next door. Yeah, like, <laughs> I did that, and and then the last thing I have to talk about is uh, I just came back from seeing Death Clock. Woo. See, I, I was I wanted to go, but I'm so glad I did not go because I was yeah. extremely worn out from. Doing two Dude, shows, it's like a three-hour drive. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I wouldn't mind going there and driving yeah. back because I. Mean, but at the same time, I'm like, you know what? I need a rest. So, <clears throat> when this show was announced, I wasn't considering really going that much because it was a three-hour drive, and it was, I was kind of half in, half out. <laughs> And Michelle wasn't going to be able to go. And then something changed. And then Michelle was able to go all of a sudden. And I don't know. I don't know how much in depth I've gone about this. But after a certain amount of time, I start falling asleep at the wheel. Like, no matter what, I I have a really hard time with driving uh, long distances. So after about the 40-minute mark, I would say, is when I start falling asleep. Yeah, it's a real problem. That's why, you know, the WC Social Club, when we went, I asked if, if you were going because I'm like, uh, it's a, it's kind of a drive for me, you know. Did you already get your ticket for that one? For what? what, what which one? What are you talking about? Do you remember when we went to the WC Social Club to see Fury? Oh, okay. Oh, and you like, drove us. Minute, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I would yeah, have no, done I the drove. drive. I just would have been. <laughs> no, yeah, that's what was there. Yeah. It would have been an issue, probably. <laughs> see, with me is I could stay awake throughout the entire trip because I listen yeah. to music where I'll be talking, but I can just keep myself awake. Me, just like <laughs> the candle mass debacle. <laughs> ding, if I get ding. too comfortable, I'm just like... <laughs> <laughs> you know but uh oh, yeah so i wasn't probably gonna go and then something changed and michelle was able to go all of a sudden so we went we spent the night in indy and the show was fantastic they pretty much played the same set we saw with the uh subtraction of two songs basically they changed up two songs on the set oh really yeah and then uh Wait, what were the two songs they played i don't know what was substituted or maybe they were added uh Castratic was a Castrat uh Castra- oh, Okay, yeah, I didn't play yeah. that one. And they played mutilation mu- mutilation on a Saturday. Night. Okay, yeah, that one they yeah. didn't play. But so they played those two. Did they play course the industry at the end or no? No, they ended off with uh, going to the water, didn't they? <sighs> they, you know, since they yes they did. Since they came back, I think Brendan is trying to still stick with a lot of the hits because there's a lot of people who have not seen Death Clock, so. He's going out there and he's doing all this. Well, he, he's sticking with a lot of the hits, but he's also trying to mix in the new the new, the new album out. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Because obviously, he has to promote yeah. the new album, that, so it would make sense that he's playing more of the new stuff and then brings in the classic hit to close it off. Because if he's playing something from Death Album Three, like unlike us, you know, we saw them play that, but it it, it would be cool. But yeah, actually, no. <laughs> yeah, actually, <laughs> it's just funny because. I'm like, oh, yeah, it's still great. It was still fantastic. Don't get me wrong. But maybe the next next tour is when he starts really spicing it up. Because I remember before they came back, the last time I saw them, they played Crush the Industry. They played Galaxy. They played was Andromeda. Well, Do you remember Andromeda? Yeah, Andromeda? but I feel like the reason they played that, because at the time, Death Album 3 was released. Of course. Yeah, that's but, what I... Ghost Queen as Ghost well. Queen. You know, Crush the Industry was yeah, I the last fire. But yeah, yeah, Crush the Industry. I think they played six out of that new album. They've, it was pretty great. Yeah, because <laughs> I think in this one, they, they played a couple of new ones, but not as much. 
Not as much as Death Album 3. That with Album 3, yeah. they went all in with that. But either way, it's still a treat seeing them. Uh, with uh, this latest show, it was three uh, songs off of Death Album 4. Yeah, and but then yeah. you also saw Dragon Force and oh, Necrogoblicon. You want to talk about surprising. I'm not really the biggest Dragon Force song. I think we all played Dragon Guitar Force Hero song? 3. Sorry, Dragon Force <laughs> fan. <laughs> Dragon Force fan. I'm not the biggest Dragon Force fan, but they do have some bangers, you know. And then literally, uh, dude, they blew me away. They're, I'm going to put a hopefully a little clip of like their stage show coming, you know, that they've been using. <laughs> It's like ridiculous. They have arcade machines on the stage that they know, stand yeah. on. They got two giant dragon heads and they're shooting smoke and like they 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 have a Taylor Swift cover that they've been doing. <laughs> Wait, which Taylor Swift song are they doing? I don't know, dude. I, I know, know they do. I know they Swift. have one. I don't know either. But I was just like, "Wait, what? What?" It's just crazy and. I, I was like, I, you I know, the reason I asked because I assumed they put they they would say the name of it. I was just like, yeah. what's Taylor Swift? They did. I, it, again, this is just this was a surprise. I thought a it was a Celine. Surprise. I thought it was Celine Dion. They also did that one. too. Yeah, I know yeah. that. I'm like, I know the Celine Dion. Yeah. My heart will go on <laughs> power metal version, which is my favorite. It's, dude, so I, it would. They were an absolute delight, and they played the, like the three songs that I do know. You know, through the fire yeah, and they the played that one. They, Fury of the storm. Yeah, Fury of the storm. <laughs> what other good. song? <laughs> and then they played. Uh, uh, they played some of the newer stuff, which I'm familiar with. So they played the Legend of Zelda song. <laughs> oh yeah, the the Triforce yeah, one. Yeah. yeah, first they do um, what's it called? The uh, Final Fantasy, and then Master Sword. <laughs> yeah, that was actually a pretty cool song, though. Yeah. I, I like the homage to Zelda. And then so the whole time they were playing that, they had uh, uh, Zelda 64 uh, f- footage playing on the arcade machines the entire time, which yeah. is pretty great. It's always... I need to see them. <laughs> I have never got to see them live. Dude, I was delighted. I'm like, this is fantastic. And then, you know what? It, I love Death Clock. Fantastic. Awesome. I had a great time. But if we're talking about the live experience... Dragon Force killed it, man. They they were up there running around. What about Necrogoblicon? Did you enjoy them? Necrogoblicon was good. They were they had a funny back and forth. I, I do appreciate the the goblin aspect of it. I'm not a, the biggest fan. Me neither. I yeah. mean, I saw them last year. They were fun to watch. They're fun to watch. Um, Dicky I... Allen is pretty cool too. What's uh, the, Dicky Allen? He's the one who was scre- he's not he he was screaming. Yeah. Yeah. He's a he's cool. Yeah. yeah. He's pretty cool. He's, I hate his vocals. <laughs> Wait a minute! You hate his screams, or yeah, th- yeah, those screams are epic. What are you talking I hate about, it, man? <laughs> it's it's no. not my fault. He has he, he has the the um the uh, what's it called? I forgot the name of it, but my it's not my fault. He has the experience you lack. <laughs> okay, well, you know what? It would be cool if the goblin did the lows and he did the highs and you could get some real dynamics out of that but nobody else growls in that band except no, for him i think he and also the goblin comes in with the clean vocals yeah he does that that's fucking... which he was great <laughs> those clean vocals are awesome i'm like oh this is delightful you it's like a uh you know like a switch of expectations you expect the goblin to be like <laughs> You know? It's good to it's good to hear live, but when it comes to listening to them yeah. in general, it's just saying, eh. Oh, <laughs> but you know what? It's it's a it's a fun band to see live. That's yeah. all I would say. Yeah. Well, but yeah, I don't know. That's been it, man. I've I've been living life, and we've got some more stuff coming up. We've got another Inferi show coming. We uh, well, I'm gonna go see a Legion with um, uh, <laughs> decapitated and septic flush, which is gonna be pretty cool and. Uh, fourth band <laughs> cataclysm cataclysm oh dude i've seen cataclysm like 15 times that's the reason why they, they didn't come up into my head i do like cataclysm though they're pretty yeah. cool too um it is funny that they're like 
you know, probably going to be the second band up out of that lineup, you know. No, for me, uh, I have Chaos and Carnage, which actually yes. just sold out. It's no more tickets to that. And it's God, actually yeah, the first date on the tour selling out. So really? Chicago sold, nice. sold out first. But no, I'm excited. I get to see um, the Zenith Passage, Rivers of Nile, Zenith Cattle Passage Decapitation. Awesome. Um, Vitriol is nuts as Vitriol's well. Vitriol is going to be there. Humanity's yeah. Last Breath as well. And uh, I forgot what other. There's, there's a seven You're just going to have a, a fantastic time. Yeah, I'm also... <laughs> I'm thinking of either going to either seeing Sim, okay, or go into the um, the day before either either see Sim on the fifth. Um, you're you're familiar with Sim, no? Yes. Yeah, of course. Okay, I was like, um, or see um, what's it called, uh, Sangui Sogabog with one of my new favorite bands, uh, Peeling Flesh. What you you came in wearing their hat, and all I've been thinking about is how crazy their meme game has been lately. <laughs> It's fucking hilarious. I, you know what? I'm not even a huge fan of the music, but holy crap, they are so on fire right now because they of really their social are. media. <laughs> I mean, they, I mean, you you had Devin beefing with Ronnie Ranky, yeah. and that was a whole, that was a whole a thing. Whole saga. That was funny. That yeah. was funny. This is fantastic. It was a whole saga, and then, um, you know, yeah, like lately they've just been fucking killing it. I mean, they're doing a co headliner tour with. I don't know whether it's. I think it's Jesus, Jesus piece, and then because I know gag and peeling, and peeling flesh. Or no, I, yeah, I think it's peeling flesh. I can't remember the name. It, it's it's one of my new favorite slam death metal bands with goofy samples that I've discovered lately. Yeah. But yeah, your uh, Sangui is co-headlining with Jesus piece, and That's I awesome, I can't man. wait. I I want to play murder football again, but I don't know if I'm gonna end up with a broken <laughs> arm careful, this time. Buddy. I mean, I Be know careful. I, need I you lost here. the last two <laughs> fucking times, and but I still got this sick hat, which this was the last one they had. There was yeah. they had because I was like, I'll get the pink one. Oh, that's the last one. Give me. <laughs> Dude, I love a band that does that. That's like, hey, let's go with crazy color. Like, not crazy, but like different color options instead of the regular. This one's black. This one's red. You know, yeah. this one's green. <laughs> you know? I was talking about my fanny pack, <laughs> like, which is probably one of the coolest ones. It is pretty. Black. Hey, you know what? I will say uh, not a lot of bands do the fanny pack. I almost did one for Vicious Attack back in the day. You know, you know? F- fun fact, Sangui has a new fanny pack, so I'm really? probably going to go for that. Yeah. Dude, that's so cool. But, all right. So, well, with that all being said, we yeah. should just jump to our next uh, segment here. Show and tell. <laughs> all late. Show and tell. <laughs> okay. Do you want to go first or should I? No, you should go first. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was actually what I asked that what that was, but uh, he just uh, grabbed it right after. <laughs> show and tell, guys. A segment that we did two times and then just kind of forgot about it. Yeah, just kind of forgot about it. It's been discarded <laughs> in the graveyard. <laughs> well, no, I just think, uh, dude. Sometimes we just get, you know, we get on a topic and we talk forever. You know, like we did with ketchup. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jesus, that this is going to be most of the episode is ketchup. But uh, yeah, I figured we'd do show and tell this time. And speaking of living life, I uh, went and I purchased something right here. This is the Ibanez Weeping Demon Petal, Brian. The Ibanez? The Ibanez. So a little fun fact about this petal is uh, I have owned this petal two other times. So when I first got this petal, I was using it a lot for Dark Entropy because... Brian, there's only one thing in this world that Kurt Hammett has ever taught me. Do you want to know what that is? Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> when you're not good at leads, you put it through a wah pedal. That's why. Wow, 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 wow. You put it through a wah pedal, and then people are deceived. So I originally bought this for or? Dark Entropy because I was like, I'm not much of a lead player, but God damn it. <laughs> Or you Kirk can also Hammett. just uh, pull a James Headfield and be like, here's some guitar lessons, Kirk. <laughs> yeah. Well, so I had this with Dark Entropy, and then I sold it when I upgraded my rig. And then I missed it because this is such a good pedal, so I rebought it for Vicious Attack. And then I figured, I'm like, oh, this has absolutely no place in Vicious Attack. So I sold it again. And now... uh I'm not going to tell you a lot of information, Brian, but I have started a tiny little project here that I'm not 
going to discuss here. <laughs> maybe, maybe off camera. But I've been starting a he, little. He got side tired band. of feeling like a peasant, and he wants to be. <laughs> he wants to be the um, divinity. Again. I've been doing a little <laughs> side project, and the style of music that it is is going to require me to have stanky wah pedal uh, solos. So I rebought it again, and I am never going to sell this ever again. I'm holding I, on I to this. I can't wait till. <laughs> I can't wait. Until he says this, this thing has no place in my new project anymore. <laughs> Therefore, I'm going to sell, sell it, again. it and I buys can't it again. afford to keep buying this thing, man. How much is that, by but, the way? I'm actually so curious. brand new. If you can't find it brand new, first of all, but I think back in the day these were like 130 or Whoa, something like that's, that. It's wow. an expensive pedal. It looks. I will, I will explain really why. Really nice. So wait, a hundred and well. Right now, you can find them in any range. It could be like 130, 150 to like some people have them for like 80, you know. Um, so this guy. I was expecting it to be like in the 500 range or 400. Or this is a, as you held it, this is a very heavy <laughs> thing here. Like, oh it God. is meant to take a beating, basically. I hate the regular wah pedal because you got to click it in and then you do your thing and then you got to click it back in step on it yeah exactly this has a latch so that when you do your wying you're done it goes back to normal position and it doesn't interfere with your tone it has a natural bypass so you're like and then you stop and then it goes back to your regular tone oh that's pretty cool it's pretty fucking cool so like, right yeah because yeah, for was you do have to hit th that's pretty and that's dope. what the latch does it holds it in place and then when you're done you could also take that off and then you don't have to use it and then you can use the auto wah which you hit this guy and then you can use it like a regular wah and then click it again to activate it and that is that's so i, I need to get one because actually so for me it's uh yeah I, I like playing leads and i'm very sloppy at them i love this pedal this i will go on so record I definitely saying wanna... this is the best wah pedal that has ever existed i will go on and say that yeah they have so each one of these dials you can affect literally the every tiny right little the low frequency the eq oh they all pop up that's the so level sick of it. dude it's got Holy a normal shit. it's got a normal level and it's got two little secret switches on the inside here that allows you to affect the range and the actual auto delay so this thing i mean this is like you want to talk about options you can do anything with this wah pedal yeah no you know? I, I and this it's is way too th it's this really is like, heavy they got a smaller yeah, I mean, version it is, it is heavy no but what i'm saying is this is way too good for like i mean it for 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 something that's like 130 to 150 this is yeah is so i rebought it uh, yeah, this, and this it will be used looking. on this new project that i'm working on i'm very excited shit i actually might get one myself because i'm yeah like that's just the thing it's awesome that's the reason i never got a wah paddle it's like i have to get used to standing around but no yeah. the I, I didn't even know this existed honestly they have a smaller version i don't know if it has the latch look for for they... context sake i i, I am uh i'm an idiot when it comes to pedals i never <laughs> built a pedal board in my entire <laughs> life i i'm stupid when it comes to that and when it comes to gear and people are asking me questions about gear i'm yeah. like oh <laughs> like that that's i'm illiterate when it comes to battles and all that stuff because i have people asking me you know how do i set up my tone it's like look i, I uh, honestly i suck at explaining things so maybe i will demonstrate and as best the way because i'm so let me do it in let me song, do it in song. <laughs> no because the thing is like i'm still experimenting with like a lot of yeah. stuff that i have i mean but yeah like i said i i am a i'm a boomer when it comes to pedals i i don't i've never had a pedal board i skipped to the pod go because i was like yeah. ah yes <laughs> i i remember convincing Technology. you so hard and i was like yes it didn't take a whole lot of convincing no. to be honest because as soon as i saw that i was like you know what you i'm buying me with shit. my helix and yeah and i, I was, was just, just like, like hey i want one just of those like one button <laughs> just be ready to go yeah well i'm also starting to experiment with like a bunch like well mainly delay and a couple of things you know starting yeah. to do a little more but i remember no, I, uh, I, I need i need something like that something oh, that won't interfere with you know what yeah because that's so pretty cool i have a helix for for you guys who may or may not know and i could have bought a line six expression pedal with it that you just plug into the helix and it's specifically for the helix you know you have an extra slot put in for wah and i was going to do it i was so close to doing it but it works exactly the same as a regular standard wah you got to click it 
and then you have to do your thing and then click it again. However, with you that know? thing, you can integrate it on your Helix. Exactly. Yeah, because that's the, the Helix plays very well with other pedals. Yeah, because I used to do the same that. thing with uh, my Pod Go. With, well, I would I would hook up my Precision Drive on yeah. there. But now it's the the new update and as the precision as drive. A, so I was like, <laughs> I still want to. I'm still gonna keep it because I I fucking no, love that pedal it's regardless. A it's a fantastic piece of, piece of gear. But I want to get. I'm definitely picking this up because I love. It's awesome, man. There's I love to do wash shenanigans. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, it's funny, and I've and I can set it up on my Pod Go. But the thing is, I'm gonna have to switch channels. Well, so that was my decision. I'm like, I can buy a brand new Mission Express pedal or. I can get something that's basically around the same price that I know is going to be fantastic. And something you've used in the past. That I have a lot of experience with, basically. The only thing that sucks, obviously, I'm going to have to power this thing, you know. But uh, yeah, I actually don't know if this thing takes batteries. Maybe. But uh, yeah, I'm very excited to incorporate this. And that was my show and tell, Brian. Yeah, it's pretty cool. No, I definitely need to pick something up like that. That's a sweet piece of gear. So for my show and tell, you know, we we've mentioned this a little earlier, but you know what? Fanny pack. <laughs> well, I told Mike that we were gonna have a special guest on here. Uh, hold oh on. dear God. Oh dear God. Yes. <laughs> hold on a sec. Not in this bag. Where? Oh, there you go. <laughs> Is my bad dragon? <laughs> it's Mr. <Jim> oh! <laughs> His first appearance on the podcast. Oh my god! <laughs> I got one too, dude. But what are the th- odds? That's not all. I have the Pokemon card as well. Oh my god! <laughs> what are the odds? I was literally talking about. Yeah, this. literally. <laughs> no, you should read the stats on this thing. Just, <laughs> dude, that is fantastic. I saw this and I'm I, like, yo, this is. I amazing. saw this on Facebook. I post. I, I dude, got somebody one. went and made him basic. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm just like, oh God, my throw God. it back. Jesus. <laughs> that is fantastic. Throw it back. The and camera's lo- not really picking it up. And it actually makes well. it look like it's been made by Game Freak 2, actually. What we'll do is take a picture of them, and I'll put it right here because the camera's not showing. Either way, um, Brandon's always going to be in, uh, in this <laughs> closet, so I'm going to stick him in. Hey, that's good. That's if you don't mind. I'll just put yeah, him in. Yeah, yeah, I like, don't care. <laughs> that's fantastic, He makes dude. his appearance in Shreddy Boy. God, I love it. I love yeah, see, it. The, the lore. Is, uh, this is the host of uh, the who um he, he and his husband are ho- are hosting the, the first Pride ever Fest. the uh, Chicago Metal Pride Fest. So yeah, that is someone has been going around dude. making stickers of it. <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> see, th- th- this is patient zero of the whole Jesus thing. Christ. So I was like, I need one of these, and Osbo got one from the Bandit. <laughs> so I was like, oh, that's sick, dude. This is like, fantastic. Oh my God, it is. God, maybe and that should have been to, our sticker, man. Yeah, no, I mean, it's it, it starting to make its appearance everywhere. It's fucking hilarious. God. Like, we need to do Yu Gi Oh cards of ourselves, Brian. As the next I've stickers. done one before, um, yeah. as a token, but that was like a long time ago. Dude. I don't think I have a picture of it anymore, but that's awesome. Yeah, it's it's fucking <laughs> hilarious. But honestly, like, th- that's just the thing the fact that someone's going around making stickers of Brandon, and oh, that just <laughs> it's just my hilarious. Heart, Everyone's man. laughing. I mean, even his husband's laughing, so you know, you. Yeah, it's like that's just the funny part. But uh, whoever the bandit is, you should make one of him, especially him. God. He has a more memeable um, appearance I, than I do. I think we both have enough live shots to make that happen. Yeah, but I, I swear that this this is just this is just iconic. Like <laughs> that is fantastic, dude. We first saw them at at Cobra Lounge, and I'm like, wait, what? Am this, I yeah, tripping? This is the first. That's one. That's the one first that one, and then. Um, yeah, like I said, this is, <laughs> this is so good. It's it, it, so for those who can't see it, it doesn't just say Brandon. It's this thick Brandon, Brandon. and then its attacks are shred oh. and throw it back. So <laughs> it's funny. like oh my. And then the description says, "It is said that if Brandon meets you in the pit, there's a good chance they will throw it back on you." <laughs> That's so funny. Oh man. man, but no, yeah, no. I mean, Bra- Brandon's a sick dude. You know, he he's in four <laughs> bands, obviously. So there's a yeah. uh, Dream Malaysia, uh, uh, La was, Pest, uh, the band um, that we saw him where they're all just like errors of dreams. humanity, errors and then there's yeah. also Thutch as well. You haven't seen Thutch, but nope. that's also a pretty sick band as well. Uh, but yeah, the fact that he, I mean, he he's, I, I swear, he this dude is gaining like he he's. <laughs> he, he he went from he's becoming a local. He's legend. becoming a local legend, a meme, and soon he will become a political uh, cam- 
candidate. God, that'd be a fantastic. Chastain sticker. 2024. Yeah, there yeah, you yeah. go. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah, that's pretty much my show and tell. I was like, as soon as um, that's I was fantastic. like, fantastic. As soon as I got these last Saturday, I'm like, I yeah. need to bring them on, Shreddy Boys, because it's fucking hilarious. Jesus, what are the odds of that? <laughs> God, we. I think we found a bumper for the episode. <laughs> Definitely. Oh, my God. But, yeah, no, that's pretty much my that's show and tell. Awesome. <laughs> Jesus. Well, yeah, that was show and tell, guys. We have uh, a segment you all know and love. Brian, what is it? Uh, yeah, it's uh, well, a new, new guess, guess, guess who this? Who this? <laughs> <laughs> Boom. <laughs> What's going on? Another yo, fantastic yo. new guest who dis and Brian, who is our goddamn guest? We, we got we got South Arsenal on this Woo! one out. Yeah, yeah, what up? Probably boys. Yes, sir, guys. It's about time you guys get on here. <laughs> How you guys been? Yeah. Good, good, good. Thank man. you for having us. For yeah, sure. Man, I mean, it's, it's been a long while waiting, dude. We've been playing like shows like for the past couple of months. I was like, I figured it's time we get you guys on here. <laughs> Thanks, man. I appreciate it. I remember yeah. watching uh, you guys' episodes. Uh, I think when I first met you, Brian, I, I, you sent me a link and I was like, oh, man, I hope, I hope we get on this. <laughs> and they consider us. And then I think uh, one of you guys, I think it was Alex that uh, put us as. Uh, I, I forgot what was the segment. Maybe band of the week or band of the. I oh forgot. yeah, um, pick I might of the be week. mistaken. Yeah. Yeah. And I, oh shit! Cool. You know, I hope. You know, and yeah. now we're here. Thank you well, for funny having. story. I was actually gonna do one that of of you guys, but then as soon as they saw him upload, I'm like, oh, you beat me to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. You know. I know you, you obviously you've seen him recently because you you played a show with him. <laughs> but, yeah, I've uh, been seeing him actually a lot like the last few months. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Like we've been playing like first step in South Arsenal, I've been playing shows and I always see you at the rock spot when you stop by as well. Yeah. Yeah. But like I don't know, obviously with me and, you know, Vicious Attack and you know, you guys just always being around, especially you Flavio, I, I feel like you've been around like you're always at shows or your presence is just always on facebook i'm like well i feel you know i feel like you guys have just been around you know if that makes sense yeah, we, well south arsenal we've been around for 10 years now yeah 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 10 years now so we started back in when is it 2014 or 13 maybe 11 years now yeah and uh we uh we've been around for close to eleven years now. Yeah, it was two thousand thirteen. So, uh, nice. seniority. And then after that, <laughs> before that, man, me and him, we've been around for ages, man. Veils of was Veils of Darkness the other band you were in? Yeah, because I feel yeah okay. Then I I have I have seen you before South Arsenal because I've seen South Arsenal back in twenty sixteen. That's when I first saw you guys. But I was just like, wait a minute, isn't he the guy from Veils? Like, yeah. And him too. Like we were both in the same band. Yeah, I, I recognized the both of you, but I was just like, no, maybe I, I was. Well, I, I didn't even know you guys at the time, but I'm like, wait, is that are they from Vales? I'm like, they look familiar, but yeah, no, it, it's crazy. Like I've seen you guys for like years, and then we started playing shows like last year up until now too. And when I f- yeah, sorry, <laughs> oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> I was gonna say when I first joined Vicious Attack, you know, I, I think Vicious, Vicious Attack. Atta- Vicious Attack. <laughs> Fabian, then. Fabian, the oh, Fabian, okay. Fabio. Were you, yeah. Like, were you guys in front of us? Yeah. In the first floor? Yeah. Oh, uh, we were. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're not there at the at the rock spot anymore. But uh, I remember, so like, I joined and I believe, I forgot, maybe 2016, maybe 2014. But, you know, Vicious Attack had been a band for a while at that point, And... I feel like a lot of my early shows, it was always like, oh, you know, it's like I'm on a, I'm on a bill with like Air Raid, 
Blood Letter, Beyond Death, and you guys seem to always be on a lot of those early shows that we would play. So, you know, I yeah. got to, I got to hear you guys, and it's it's very uh, it's very hard to describe what you guys sound like too, because you kind of just blend a lot of different styles together. I was about to say know? that too. <laughs> it's like a it's like yeah, a good I, thing. I, you know? I guess we I try know. to be unique, you know. <laughs> no, that's Weird. awesome. You know? Go ahead, I don't know. I don't know. It's just it's weird. Um, we just, I guess, like you said, uh, um, we all li- listen to different types of music. You know, we got my little brother Moy. He's more like a death death metal guy, mm-hmm. and then you got me, which is more like um, I like I like I like the blues. You know, I've always I've always loved the blues, and then you got and you got you got Flavio over <laughs> here. Which he's like he has a, a lot of different influences and it, and um yeah I was, Isaac over here is yeah. like a big time metalhead I don't know like, I've always been the punk guy in the band right the punk the punk guy Isaac's always uh been big metal head guy we just play whatever we feel like it man you know and yeah, if it sounds good. good it sounds good you know I mean hopefully I mean we play what we like and. And thankfully, we get some good feedback so far. You know, you know they uh, we struggled back in the day to fit in with, you know, going back to what you said, I think we struggled a lot to fit in in different scenes. And some scenes were like, oh, like, oh well, I mean, you're you're not hardcore. You're not thrash metal. You're not this. Is, what are you guys? Right. It's kind of confusing, yeah. right? Uh, but, uh, I mean, we just managed to wiggle ourselves in, the, in there. And for some reason, people like us and they like to come see us. And that's cool, you know? So... I mean, as long as you guys stand out, you know. No, that's that's definitely a problem. You know, like uh, when I was in Central Disorder, uh, there was a lot of issues. Like we would be Central Disorder. You know, yeah, we play dis- with you guys. I'm very. I'm yeah, yeah. It was like you, you know. Played with you guys? Did, were you in the band? I wasn't. In, I joined in 2020. Um, okay, Central yeah. Disorder. Yeah, it's it's very possible that we that I, I mean. Like I said, it's it's very blurred because I feel like I've played with you guys so many times in the past. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's possible that I've played with Central Disorder with you yeah. guys. But uh, that's a band that's like, you know, we've been turned down from festivals for not being uh, not brutal enough. And then it's been the opposite where we'd be like, oh, we don't fit in this. And, you know, it's like, oh, you guys are too brutal. And it's like, all right, well, <laughs> it's like the, hitting that sweet spot sometimes is a curse, you know, where you don't really fit in a specific genre. But at the same time, it means that you definitely will stand out, you know? Yeah, I mean, yeah. speaking on the two brutal, I'm trying to change that. But anyways, that's that's a topic <laughs> for another day. <laughs> um, what, what have you guys been up to lately? I know that there was the uh, party that you guys hosted with that music video shoot. We did that recently, the music video. We're still uh, in the editing process. You know, it's definitely going to take some time for sure because we definitely don't just want to do something so quick and just let it out, you know. Right. But uh, definitely still in the editing process. I think it was a pretty good success with with what footage that we got. And uh, we're still going to just keep on working on the editing stuff. Hopefully soon, you know. We'll see how long it takes, but hopefully it's not too long. Is this a one one hundred percent DIY, or did you guys hire somebody or or a company to do it? No, it's actually uh, one of my other guitar players from, from my other side project that I have. He uh, started doing music videos for uh, not music videos, but just like music shots for other people. And I'm like, man, bro, this looks great. Like, like why don't you just to Isaac? Man, yeah, shout out to Isaac and Toto. And mm-hmm. I was like, this looks great, man. Um, we were gonna hire somebody. And then I was like, well, why don't you just give, you know, our music video was meant to be simple, just right. a house party uh, with people partying and just us playing. So I'm like, why don't you just try doing something simple with us? And that's it. And sometimes being uh, doing something simple goes a long way. You know, when you got too much going on, I feel like, well, maybe, you know, showing people they have a great, they have a great time at our, at our shows and, and just how it really is organically, I think it will go a long way. And he got a good shots of that. And, uh, we're still trying to edit some of the stuff out. And, you know, Brian played there, and, you know, it, yeah. was, it was a good time. What do you think, Brian? How, how was that show that day, man? It was <laughs> super fun. I've never played a house show before. Um, that was actually the yeah. very first house show I played. 
But no, yeah, it was it was a lot of fun. There were so many people there. The the basement of that place was like a maze as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even like when so when when the band was playing, if you were in the basement, you would literally like be able to see the floor moving. But was, it was like dangerous <laughs> to be down there. It was like, whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> like, go upstairs, guys, because the owner of the house, well, you know, my brother Gabriel asked him like, hey man, you know, like you've seen those videos of house parties <laughs> where the whole fucking floor collapsed. Aren't you worried about that? And yeah. he tells us if it happens, it happens. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Shout out to dies. Rich though. He does. Shout out to Rich though. Yeah, Rich is yeah. as fuck. So Rich, uh, the owner of the house, he used to throw punk shows there, DIY punk shows back in the day. And he kind of retired doing all that stuff. Yeah. So we were looking for a spot to have a party. And for some luckily miracle, he let me have it. He said, oh, just because it's you, dude. Just because it's South Arsenal. Uh, other than that, because I'm retired already of having yeah. shows here. <laughs> Just because you've been here, you called, you came here, you supported my scene, you you, you, yeah. you used to come out all the time. So, because I never even played Kombucha Club ever, because he doesn't allow metal bands to play. He does not want metal bands to play there ever. Mm. It's always been punk DIY. Yeah. But since he was really cool with me, and for some reason, some people consider us somewhat punk as well. Right. So he was like, you guys are kind of punk. So, uh, you know, yeah, but the banks are bringing, you know, first step to glory in 1837. They're heavy. So, you know, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he, he, seemed to enjoy he was it cool. Too. He was cool, man. He, he was loved all it. For the, it was all for the support, you know, South Side, uh, whatever it was. Yeah, like South Side. And shout out to him, man. He didn't charge me anything, man. I'm oh, over nice. here trying to be like, yo, man, uh, uh, I'll give you, I don't know, man, three, four hundred bucks for the space. I'll help clean up. He didn't even fucking let me clean up. He's like, don't worry about it. Go home. Wow. Have a good time. Shit. Awesome guy, man. That's awesome. Uh, it, sucks that, it sucks that he doesn't have that place available for bands anymore. So. All right. <laughs> also I that... definitely thought the next day, though. I was there the next day with some garbage bags and cleaning supplies and stuff. And Such you know, a No, no, I did. I showed up. Yeah. I left the stuff there, and uh, he was actually outside the house when I showed up the next day, and he was just like, I didn't... yeah, yeah, yeah. He was on his bike, and... uh. He was actually just trying to enjoy the weather because it was really nice the next day. You know, I was like, hey, yeah, I came to sh- I showed up to help me clean up. He's like, oh, you know what? Let's just save it for another day. We'll set up another day. And He was I already mean, prepared for that shit. I left the supplies had, there. And, and He was already ready for it. He had the fucking the, the recycling bin already out, out in the yard. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah recycling yeah, yeah, yeah. bin in the inside of the house. So yeah. He was, it was it was pretty much self-cleaned up throughout the party. You know, like it wasn't mm. getting too crazy trash and stuff. You know, it was just. Yeah. Put yeah. it back together at the end of it. But, Going yeah. back to that, the crowd was great, man. They didn't they didn't trash the fucking place. So yeah. that's really cool of everybody that showed up, you know. Mm-hmm. I was going to say, yeah. uh, uh, I, I was not able to make it. I was planning on going, but then my computer had a meltdown the day before we were going to have a, a guest. And uh, I just wanted to make sure everything was okay. But, you know, I, uh, I saw tons of the videos that came out from it. And I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> It Just was like crowded. how packed and how energetic. Yeah, the whole it was thing a small was. place, so that was the best part about it. You know, it was like it gave that illusion that there was like hundreds of people there. <laughs> but yeah, it did. No, it, it did. Yeah, it, it, was, it, was, did. It, was, it was small. It was like fifty people. It was probably like fifty people. Oh, it was a lot of people. Yeah, but, it was but. a lot of people. It was about a hundred. It's about yeah. because <laughs> because the the yard was packed and That's the true. basement was packed and then when we were performing was packed so like it, right. not even a lot of people couldn't even go in to watch this play because of how packed <laughs> yeah because of the lack of space and then the body heat just emanating yeah yeah i had a i had a they step outside it. for after so after that, we were finished yeah so that music video will be out soon uh for the song frail from our from our album big hoax and mm. uh after that we are going to release a new uh song called vida express in a few weeks and we also are going to be recording a music video for that as well same same person who helped you record this one My, we have other options but mm-hmm. uh, we're probably gonna most likely you know hit up the, same the best thing we like about isaac is that like his 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 uh he's motivated to want to do it you know and, and oh yeah ready and ready to want it, want it you know so we see that, and we, mm-hmm. I mean, he's, he's helping us out. We're helping him out with you know experience or whatever it is, and I feel like it's a win-win situation in, in all of it, you know. So, and yeah, we also we also have a show coming up on April twentieth. Um, we're still we're still 
I'm still down for that, right? No, yeah, it's going down for sure. We're doing the big smoke out. It's a 420 show in Little Village. I will have the information in a bit. It's kind of, it's kind of, mm -hmm. it's kind of gonna, it's gonna be a private, like a private show. Not really, no. Not really. Steal my show, five dollars to get in. <laughs> five <laughs> bucks, man. It's a steal. <laughs> the thing, the thing is, the thing is, it's gonna, it's gonna be at a church. Yeah. It's gonna oh, be at a church. It's gonna be at a church. So, um, if you guys don't mind me, I'm gonna pull up the event so you, you guys can, can pull it up. I, I, I will tell you, however, this is going to air the week after the 20th, so <laughs> it's coming up, it's coming up. Oh, after the 20th, yeah, <laughs> unfortunately, these always come okay. out, I think, the last which is the last Friday of the month, basically, yeah, every single just... episode. Well, okay, well, might as well say it to the people that are not gonna get to hear it. <laughs> well, yeah. whoever's watching. Probably already has attended. So show. it's a it's yeah, gonna no. be a really cool event. So <laughs> not no, which is we're inviting you guys. So you guys oh, come out. Okay. Guys. All right, we're back from New Guess Who This, and. Uh, you know, we already did the little <laughs> preface, you know, and not the preface, uh, the little ending at the end. Uh, we had some technical issues. I won't repeat it, but it was good to have the boys, you know, for, for what it was. We had uh, South Arsenal, and it was fantastic chatting with them. Yeah, it was very fantastic. I mean, for the first time, we also had a, a guest ask us about our origin story, and you guys yeah. heard mine in full detail, not his, but... You know. <laughs> well, we, you know, we we also, if if you remember, we did a QA and a earlier, and we kind of talked about our origin stories then. Too. I didn't talk about it too much. That's my yeah. Yeah. Bread not crumbs. too much breadcrumbs, <laughs> yeah, but but uh, yeah, they were awesome to have. Um, and you know, uh, if you listen to the interview, uh, they had a 420 show that just passed, and uh, they're going to be releasing some new music coming up soon. Yeah, look out definitely. for that music video that Brian uh, hopefully is in. <laughs> yeah, no, no, they. Uh, I've talked to the dude who recorded the video. Yeah. He says, "Yeah, I have he's some shots of you," it. and yeah, he's currently working on it. Uh, nice. His Instagram handle is Hot Sauce. He's a pretty cool dude. Uh, he's also in a band called Harvey Lightyear, which you guys should also check out as well. So definitely, fantastic. <clears throat> well, yeah, guys. Um, what, what other? I was like, do we have another segment that you want? I wanted think we to got add? enough time for one little bite-sized segment. The last thing I want to do is uh, band tips. Band tips. No, band tips. <laughs> Yeah, I figured we do a new segment called Band Tips. This is something I've always wanted to do, and honestly, I just keep forgetting about it. <laughs> but yeah, it's a good thing he forgets about it because now I'm being put on the spot because I'm still uh, at a, I'm still a new and inexperienced person. You are and you're not, Brian. I'd say Jesus with all these shows that you've been playing, you definitely are uh, <laughs> seasoned at this point. But you know, me and Brian have played a lot of shows at this point. We've been around in the scene. And we figured... Well, co uh, correction, I'm sorry to interrupt. Yep. He's been around in the scene more than I have. I barely <laughs> got into it like 2019 with three shows. And then... No, like, yeah, I've, I was hardly ever in the scene. I was always the background character in everyone's anime. <laughs> Jesus. That's, I just wanted to say You're that. the before. Tristan of Yugi's Yeah, there group, you go. I'm or... the Tristan. I, I was the... <laughs> The Krillin, <laughs> yeah, yeah, the Krillin, <laughs> or the go go Goku. No, yeah, but like most of the time, I have been in the background yeah. trying to form bands, and I mean, as I even said on the interview, like I've always been in the background, but it's up until recently yeah. where, yeah, You're I'm just out there, man. <laughs> now I'm out there, you know. Yeah. But... Well, okay. <laughs> now I'm out there. <laughs> we have experience, you know, playing shows, blah blah blah. So I figured every now and again we'd offer some band tips, you know. So. Uh, this is one that I've been thinking about a lot. You know, every time I'm a civilian at a show, <laughs> I will watch and be like, mm, uh-oh, they're going over their time. They've been over their time for about seven minutes now. How is that going to translate to getting on and off the stage in a timely manner? Yeah, you know? see, the okay, so what, obviously band tip number one. Do not go over your set time. Just oh, don't. Yeah. Don't that, be that asshole. That like I get it. You know, I, 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 I. It's fun to be on stage, but everyone else has to be on there at certain times. Yeah. There are literal. I'm sorry for hitting the mic. But yeah. <laughs> you know, like obviously you have, um, you know, 
there's a transition between you know getting off the stage and then mm-hmm. the next man setting their stuff up you do not want to be remembered as the asshole who played oh, for way dude. too long and then start putting everything behind schedule like i get it i mean yeah. sometimes yeah things can happen technical difficulties can go on but try not to go over your set yeah. time because that really irks promoters the the even people you know the venue organizers everything like mm-hmm. it just it really irks the crap out of everyone and that's just the thing like unless you're the headliner and you're you know that that's a different story but when you're opening a show Mm -hmm. you know get on there set up set up yourself quick immediately because there's also you know i've seen people who take like what a month setting their stuff up dude yeah dude with with the rack system decides he's gonna set it up right there in the in the transition instead of setting it up on the side or backstage loading yeah and like and that's also the thing as well i mean yeah but first things first you know just make sure you end your stuff on time and get the hell out of there immediately because and then that's another thing is like you know someone will be like oh they went over their time Why do I not go over their time? There is a lot of situations where you read the room, you know. We went to the festival at Magoo's where we played, like, what, at, like, 1 1 a.m.? Yeah, 1 a.m. And And that was because so many bands, like, the organization was not there. And then, you know, one thing leads to another, and eventually... We're supposed to go on at turn ten thirty, but we're going on at one a.m. because of a Literally, lot of mishaps. Yeah, there know? was so many mishaps. I was getting sleepy, and I yeah. was just like, "Bro!" And and then there's the opposite, Brian. Um, do you remember when we opened up for Soulfly at the WC Social Club? Yeah, the guy was so the you know the the dude the backstage manager I guess if you want to call him it was so anal about <clears throat> you get on there you have to set your stuff up and. Anything past your your time is your time. You're, you, that's that's not going to be on your set anymore. You have thirty minutes, you know, to play your set. Anything that you go over your set time, you know, that's on you. So we had like fifteen minutes to set up, and I, you know, I I was kind of like, oh, screw this guy. You know, he sucks. I'm like, what, what does he think we are? Like newbies, you know? But right. we got on and set up all of our stuff, and we're ready for a sound check. Not even. 15 minutes we were early we were able to do another song and then we got all of our stuff off of there in 15 minutes as well and the dude complimented that you know a lot of people appreciate that because they've dealt with a lot of bands that are the opposite <laughs> yeah like <laughs> you know? and don't get me wrong I, I mean there's people who are you know about this all the time but that's just the thing like he wants things to run in a timely fashion which i understand and sure yeah it was, it was kind of annoying and it's like we finished sound check but we were waiting on the sound so i will say this yeah. that you're talking about the brower house show right in specific yeah that yeah was, that, that, that was. we got everything up immediately we were ready i mean and then the guy's like are you guys ready and i'm like i'm waiting on the sound done. yeah, yeah it's just like, it was just like yeah we done been ready but i don't know what's yeah. going on with the sound guys like, why aren't you guys going on I'm like sound guy hasn't told us any like right, to, right, when right. to go on yet so that's just the thing i mean there's and I would yeah. always say prepare for the worst as well because, I mean, sometimes you'll have sound guys that will know their stuff immediately and then there's some that are kind of... Uh, it's definitely a case-by-case basis. It's a, yeah. yeah, I mean, that day I will say, like, we were done, but we were just waiting on the sound guy to give us the, you know, yeah. good to go. So, yeah, that, that's, the, that's, that's the first band tip that I say we introduce. Be timely. <laughs> Be on fucking time. Show up for load you know? and all that stuff. Have your gear set up. If they're back yeah. stuff, the, get your shit on Be there. Be timely. Yeah, that's the thing. You know, cause... and if you're that, you know, that guy who's gonna have your twenty fucking pedal board system, you know, you make sure that that thing is ready to go before you get on that stage. You've 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 yeah, workshopped set it, it at up. Home. Yeah, and then make you sure know? you even have it set up like at the venue if you're the opening band exactly. too. You do not want to be. Yeah, but too I mean, many times, too many times. It's just you're you're there and you're like, oh, we should have started 15 minutes ago. That's that's great. I bet they're not going to take 15 minutes from their set, you know. And sure enough, you know, you're supposed to go on at eight, and now you're going on at 11:30. <laughs> I will say there was a there was a funny experience once where like I was helping a a buddy of mine open up for this one band called Slaves. That I'm pretty sure you're familiar with Dance Gavin Dance, no? 
Yeah, yeah. So their former vocalist, I, I'm not, I'm not, I wasn't familiar with them at the time, but I guess their former vocalist was formed that band at the time. Okay. And it was like, hey, I need your help playing guitar in some parts. I'm like, yeah, sure. Do you have everything ready? He's like, yeah, and he didn't. And uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna throw names, but yeah. throughout his set, it was literally 20 minutes of silence, and the songs that I was supposed to play on guitar on, um, on never came up, and he only played two songs in front of yeah. a sold out crowd, and I'm like, man, that's. That's a disaster. There you go. That's a, that's a good example there. <laughs> oh, and I'm yeah. just like, holy and fucking shit. That was insane. I'm like, bro. Yeah. Uh, I'm like, I am so glad I am not in this band full time because this would have been embarrassing. <laughs> like, I wasn't, I mean, I, I wasn't even on stage, but I was just like, bro, this was fucking embarrassing. Like, yeah. I and guess they just didn't. See, the thing is, I, I think he was supposed to be there at a certain time testing his stuff out, but I guess they just didn't want yeah. yeah, but that's one a good example there. But. Oh, yeah. I mean, we have tons of examples, but yeah, I mean, that is, you know, if you are a newer <laughs> band, it is so, so important that before you play shows, you, I mean, hell, practicing it in in your practice space. Maybe that goes into our, ne- our our next tip. Practice your fucking songs. <laughs> No, we can't. I know. Let's not burn it, you know. But yeah, be timely. I'm playing around. <laughs> In your practice space, have your drummer tear down his set and put it back up and just time him, you know. <laughs> it's, you know, a lot of times people don't think about this and then they go play their first shows and it's just uh, a, it's disaster. a disaster. Yeah. Second you know. tip I would say, make sure your equipment is up and ready to go. That means, you know, your oh, yeah. make sure your cables are working, nope. just your amp, everything. Be ready. Uh your guitars <laughs> are t- are like, you know, they they have new strings on or yeah. they're they're completely in tune and or they can stay in tune, have them set up because you know, I will I will uh, bring up an incident. I'm sorry for this Franco, <laughs> but for, you know, he 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 oh. thinks that just cuz he's a bassist, he don't need to change his bass strings. But look oh. what fucking happened at the DIY show um back in February. So the <clears throat> string pop the 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 bottom string or the top oh, string popped. No. I was just like, oh no, that. <laughs> and he didn't bring a backup. I would always say this: bring a backup if you feel like you know you're. If you're feeling a little lazy to change your strings, I mean, yeah. make sure you just have a backup with fresh strings, <laughs> ready. I always change Jesus. them on both, but bring a backup in case. <laughs> yeah, you know, just to switch it out. I mean, shit, it's happened to me. I popped the string at the la- at the vicious attack show we played at Reggie's. Yeah, at. yeah, you did. I was like, and then yeah, you you, you save the day with your solar. I always <laughs> have a backup guitar because that's happened so many <clears throat> times with uh, Kevin. <laughs> Kevin will pop a string, and I'll be like, "Here you go." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he that's... never brings a backup. It was always me, and he'd be playing. It'd be silly. He'd be playing like a. Uh, my warlock or something whatever my backup was yeah i mean that was the only time i have ever needed that's ever happened to me but i mean i still bring a backup in case because you never know it's a good learning experience it's a good learning experience i mean i always keep extra strings and i always have a backup guitar i always have extra strings but i'm like i'm not gonna have time to change them on the stage of course sometimes sometimes but you have to (laughs) yeah sometimes you have to (laughs) but yeah that's just the thing bring an extra don't 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 be a franco (laughs) Well, I think that's good. You yeah, know, that's, we'll that's, revisit, you know, in the future with some more tips. Um, but yeah, I think I think we're good, man. Yeah, I think we should be good. Uh, yeah, you know, that's that's pretty much all uh, for this uh, episode of Shardy Boys. Remember to follow us on all of the stuff, guys. On all of the stuff. So uh, yeah, you know, we'll we'll be putting. Well, I mean, yeah, we're just planning on putting on more content soon. Uh, yeah, yeah. Aside yeah. from all that, uh, yeah, I mean, you'll like, probably catch subscribe. us at a show, like, comment, subscribe, because it really helps the channel a lot. <laughs> I would have uh, put the graphic again that I had. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, this episode wasn't loaded with, you know, any news topics. I mean, a lot of stuff has been going on, but you know what? We figured we might as well just do oh, an episode dude. of just yeah, there's us been a lot talking. Of stuff going on. <laughs> yeah, just a whole lot of stuff, but it'd be way too saturated. I mean, maybe the, yeah. the next episode will be more news-centric. Catch hey, yeah. we, we may have the... We we may um uh we be rebranding in uh a segment that we've always used though for a very long time in the next What's episode, that? um uh we'll we'll get into that oh, the next episode okay. <laughs> cryptic <laughs> yeah, cri- like cryptic <laughs> cryptic yeah but um yeah no that's pretty much it you know uh, make sure you guys check out South Arsenal they're all all yeah, up on yeah. the streaming platforms be on the lookout for that music video, and uh, yeah you know we'll probably do a follow up interview as well. 
um yeah. in the future you know so this is not going to be the only time they'll be on the show so yeah yeah well that's it guys good night we'll uh we'll see you later bye bye <laughs>